Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about how to choose the perfect wireless network bridge for our PoE system setup. When we use a wireless network bridge for our PoE system setup, this is usually because we want to extend the PoE system. So let's first talk about the PoE system. The PoE system is a system network system which uses PoE technology. And PoE technology is the method for us to transmit power and data through one single Ethernet cable. In this way, we can save a lot of trouble when we are confused how we should power our IP devices when they're set up in really difficult positions for us to find power. Imagine a camera set high up top on our roof, but we don't have power outlets there. We can use an Ethernet cable and connect to it. So the POEs is really convenient, but the signal is limited to 100 meters. 100 meters then we have to use some extenders to extend another 100 meters for further connection. And usually if we use all kinds of device, the maximum distance is 800 meters. What if we have to go over 800 meters? Usually people would choose fiber optic cables, but this is really rare for household situations and we have to make sure our router or our switch device has the ability to accept fiber optic signals. So we have an easier way. We can use a two pair device and this will help us create a, a th more than a thousand meters of transmission distance and also we don't have to switch a lot of things in our system because they also transmit in digital signal. The device is our wireless network bridge. Like a bridge has two sides, this has two, two devices as well. You can imagine these two are the gateways on the bridges and the, we need both of them to create this tunnel. A wireless network bridge works really simple. One device is the master device, one device is the slave device. The master device is a transmitter that connects to our router, our main network, receives the data, and transmits it out. After it transmits, our receiver, which is the slave device, will be set up somewhere like over a thousand meters and will receive the device, receive the signal, and then transmit it through an Ethernet cable, like right here, to an IP device, like a wireless access point. So, it is really easy to understand, and there will be some features we have to know about before we purchase and choose the correct one. So first of all, we have to know the transmission distance. Uh, different devices have different transmission distance. There are a lot of aspects we have to calculate. Uh, mostly it's because of the transmission frequency. So before we purchase it, we have to ask the manufacturer uh, what is the frequency? How long can it go? If we choose the perfect one that matches our network and the environment is perfect, we can go all the way up to three kilometers, which is 3,000 meters. That is pretty far away. And then it's about the transmission, the data rate. The data rate will determine how smooth our transmission will be. If we have too much uh, devices connected to it, it might not support our, all our devices, so then the transmission will be cutting out, there will be latencies, and we'll suffer from not a smooth connect connection, not a smooth con transmission. So we have to ask the manufacturer who sells it, uh, do you know its transmission rate, its data rate? Do you, do you know if it can work with all these devices? Make sure you ask clearly. And then, is does it have outdoor me, uh, waterproof measurements because we're going to have to create a very obstacle free space for these wireless signals to transmit out. So, we're not going to install it inside our house. Inside our house, there's like walls, concrete, steel. It will make our transmission be interfered once in a while. So, we want to do it outside. And when it goes outside, we have to make sure it's waterproof make sure there's no dust and rainwater that will penetrate the outside shell and compromise our components inside. So waterproof measurements are also crucial. And then it's, these are kind of what's really important about a wireless network bridge. And also it should be really easy to use. 
like this one in my hand, this pair, is our fast cable, fast cabling wireless network bridge. This is really easy. You can just plug and display. All we need to do is plug power in the 12 volt direct current port and our main network to one of our ethernet ports. And then you just hang them on a wide, wide open space. And once the receiver is connected the same way, these two, the transmitter and the receiver will create a virtual tunnel. This virtual tunnel is like a separate tunnel uh, from our main network. It will, trans it will mainly be used to transmit data between these two devices. So usually we won't be like affected by the main network. Whatever happens there, these two are only focusing on transmitting data. So it's a really nice device. And ours also are waterproof. We, after we put on this case and we connect to the cables, this is a really waterproof design and it's really easy to mount on like walls or tree branches right here. So our device is perfect and we can run on 12 volts the direct current or we can go to a 24 volts PoE injector. They both work. And now I'm going to simply connect uh, these wireless network bridge devices to a router and then on this side I'll use a PoE, 30 watts PoE injector to power up one of our wireless access points to see how easy it is. So first of all, on my router, I will use the Ethernet cable to connect to our master device. And then, use a power cord, 12 volts, direct current. And now you can see it is receiving power and data right here, clearly. And then I will hang it up on the wall here. This is outside. And then I'm going to use another Ethernet cable and 12 volts direct current adapter. Power it up. And Ethernet cable in. And this one as well, you can see power and Ethernet port are all indicators on, so power and data going through. So now, I'll hang this one up on as well. So these two are facing each other, the data's going through. And then comes our PoE injector. This is how we upgrade a non-standard non PoE system to a standard PoE system, for those who know. I'll power the PoE injector. And then the main network goes to the LAN port, and then a short patch cord to a PoE port, and connect to our wireless access point. And you can see power and data are all indicators on, so power and data. And now we can search for this on our mobile device or anything to look for its network gate, and then we can access the network. Pretty simple, huh? So this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about the wireless access bridge, to leave them at the section below. And thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.